So you just got your first scuba tank or scuba tanks and you're wondering what all this crazy information is that's around the neck of the tank. In this video, we're gonna break it down for you. How's it going, dive buddies? It is Kyle here with another quick scuba tip and today we're gonna be talking about how on earth decipher what is on your scuba tank. And just for the record, so you know what kind of tank I'm working with, um, this is a, you know what? I'm not gonna tell you what kind of tank this is. We're gonna work our way around this information and see if we can figure out what exactly it is. So to do this, we're gonna walk around this tank here. We're gonna rotate around this tank and we're gonna break down all the different pieces of information that are around it. We're also gonna note a few of the differences that are on this tank uh, from maybe your tank. Each uh, make and manufacturer does things a little different, so there's certain information that's gonna pop out uh, on this tank that may not be on your tank, or might be on your tank that isn't on mine, uh, but we're gonna note those differences. So up here on the top row, on the far left, we have the first letters T and C, and that stands for Transport Canada. That means, that stamp means that this particular tank adheres to Transport Canada's regulations, that is the regulatory authority in Canada here, that says that this tank is indeed okay to be filled, used, transported, and uh, meets all of the requirements that they need for a cylinder. Then we have a dash, and that's just to separate the next little bit of information. We have a 3 ALM, or 3 aluminum. And this is gonna tell us what kind of tank this is. This particular tank is a three gauge aluminum tank. So now we know what our tank is made of. The next little bit of information is a 207 bar. And that is for all of you who like to deal with the pressure in bar. This tells us the working pressure of this tank is 207 bar, if you're into that kind of thing. Next, beside that, we have a bunch of letters together that spell Catalina. Now, this is the manufacturer of the tank. This is the brand that makes tanks, all sorts of shapes and sizes, Catalina. Your particular tank may have a different name. It may say Luxfer on it, it may say Faber on it, or it may have a couple of different uh, names on it. Now, under TC, we have a DOT. And the DOT stands for Department of Transportation. This is the US regulatory authority, or the United States of America's um, agency, that dictates that this tank is indeed safe to be filled, to be transported, to be used um, within the US. So that just is for our neighbors to the south. Then we have a little dash to separate the next little bit of information. And then we have the three aluminum information again. So this tells us again, our tank is a three gauge aluminum cylinder. Um, so now we know what our tank is. Then beside that, we have a number. We have 3000, 3000. And this indicates that the service pressure of this cylinder is 3000 PSI. So if you're into PSI, you've got 3000. If you're into bar, you've got the 207 bar above that. So the next little bit of information past the 3000 is a series of letters and numbers. This particular one is AS287735. What this bit of information is, is this is essentially the name of your tank. So the next little bit of information, the M4002 here, this is the manufacturer number that is issued by the Department of Transportation, the DOT, for Catalina that recognizes this cylinder or their cylinders. So the next little chunk of information is probably out of all of the information stamped on your tank is the information that is of most importance for you to know. So this is the hydrostatic uh, information. This will tell you the age of the tank and when it is due for hydrostatic test. In this particular tank, we have the information that is stamped in the same uh, line as the lower line here. It's the same kind of font as the rest of it. And this is the original date of the tank or the birthday of the tank. So we've just gone over the, the name of the tank, the serial number, and here we have the birthday of the tank. It was born in, we have the month at the beginning, 07, so July, and then we have 01, 
of 2001. So this tank was born in July of 2001. And above it is the hydrostatic information. So this was the last hydro that was done on this tank. It was done in 09 of 2014. So 09 meaning September and 14 meaning 2014. The information that is in the middle, this is the service technician, the hydrostatic technician's number that is assigned to them and that gets stamped in the middle. So it's just kind of an ID for them. And the last little bit of information that we have on this cylinder is the S80. And this S80 simply stands for that the cylinder is scuba, it's for scuba, and that it's 80 cubic feet of air in this tank. If this particular tank, as an example here, is a, if it were a 63, then it would say S63, or if it was a little pony bottle, it might say S19, or whatever the cubic footage of t the tank is, this will dictate, the th uh, this will be demonstrated on the tank. And there you have it guys, pretty simple, pretty straightforward once you know what you're looking at. If you've got any questions about your particular tanks or you've got certain markings on your tanks that you're not familiar with, leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll be happy to help you out and uh, figure out what they are. And of course, thanks again for stopping by the dive wagon and checking out our quick scuba tips. See you next time and happy diving.